Public UGC is officially here, which means anyone can upload avatar items to the Roblox Marketplace. In this video, I'll be going over exactly how to upload items, the changes that have been made, and what this means for the future of UGC and the avatar marketplace. This week, Roblox announced that they are opening up the ability to upload, publish, and sell avatar items on the avatar marketplace to all users who are verified with the government-issued ID and subscribe to either Roblox Premium 1000 or 2200. Previously, the UGC program was closed to certain creators who filled out an application that Roblox would open up a few times a year. You can currently upload three different types of avatar items, rigid accessories, layered clothing, and avatar bodies and heads. To get started with creating an avatar item, creators must first open a third-party software like Blender or Maya and start the modeling process. Next, you'll import and upload the avatar item into Roblox Studio, where initial validation and moderation will occur. Finally, if your item passes through moderation, you'll be able to publish and sell your item on the avatar marketplace. Now, let's go over these different steps you need to take in order to get your item out to the public. First of all, you'll need to make sure that the item follows all of the requirements listed in Roblox's community standards and marketplace policies. Following these guidelines, ensure that your item passes moderation and allows Roblox users to express themselves with safety and civility. Failure to follow these guidelines may result in moderation and item removal, which can also lead to losing the ability to upload items in the first place. The marketplace guidelines go into detail about what can and can't be included in each avatar item, so if you'd like to read up on those, I'll leave the link to the documentation page in the description of this video. On top of following these guidelines, you'll need to make sure that the item you're uploading doesn't infringe on other people's intellectual property, commonly referred to as IP. In order to protect your IP, it's important that your creations are unique. For example, the creation on screen takes a well-established concept, this being a Trojan helmet, and adds intricate details that make the design an original expression of the idea, such as the shape and the orientation of the gold adornments and the shape of the facial opening. When the creator sees others using those specific original design elements in their designs, they can request the removal of those items. But just because the original creator can request the removal of those three Trojan helmets does not mean that they can remove all Trojan helmets from the platform. For example, this other helmet on screen is likely not infringing because it does not include any of the other creator's unique elements. If you publish an item and another user copies it, you can take action. With the rights manager, you are able to file a removal request to get it taken down. All you need to do is provide the original item, the item that's copying, and optional information like a brief description of how it may be infringing on your copyright, and an image to better showcase. The rights manager can be found on the creator dashboard, linked in the description of this video. Now, let's get into actually uploading and publishing items to the marketplace. You'll need to upload your avatar item through Roblox Studio by simply adding it to the workspace. For specific specifications for each avatar item type, you can visit the documentation linked in the description of this video. Once it's in the workspace, right-click the object and select Save to Roblox. Here, you'll be able to edit the metadata, such as the title, description, and tags. When uploading your asset, Studio will also check for technical issues, such as an incorrect hierarchy or accessory structure. When uploading, accessories, clothing, bodies, and heads require an upload fee of 750 Robux per submission. In general, fees are not refunded if the item is rejected through moderation. If your asset clears the uploading process, you are ready to move on to the publishing process. You can find your newly uploaded avatar item on the creator dashboard under the creations tab in the avatar items category. Clicking on the item will bring you to the manage item page which you can again access the metadata along with other item attributes. In item attributes, you can set the availability of your asset as a non-limited or a limited item. Each availability type changes the available item attributes fields you can modify. If uploading a limited item, you must specify a quantity, which is the amount of copies a single user can purchase, whether or not the item will be free, and if you want users to be able to resell the item after the 30-day holding period expires. You can also limit the sale location of an item to strictly on the marketplace, within specific or all experiences, or both. The next important step is pricing your avatar item. When listing your marketplace item, you must set your price within the appropriate dynamic price range for that asset type. A price floor is the lowest price an item can be sold for. What makes it dynamic is based on current marketplace conditions, which Roblox can update at any time. Most of these changes will be within the range of 15 Robux up or down in price. Creators can set two types of price controls based on the price floor, amount above price floor and do not price below. Amount above price floor is the amount of Robux that the item will be above the current price floor. 
For example, if the price floor is 50 Robux and you input 5 Robux into the box, the new price of the item will be 55 Robux. You can also choose to set the value to 0 if you want your item to always be priced at the floor price. Do not price below is the lowest price a creator's item can go. It is optional and will always be respected. For example, if you input 200 Robux into the box, your item will never drop below 200 Robux regardless of what the price floor is. Each item uploaded also requires what's called a publishing advance. A publishing advance is a refundable upfront fee that you pay at the time of publishing an item. Publishing advances are dependent on the type of marketplace item being sold. A chart with all of these prices is on screen now and can also be viewed on the documentation page linked in the description of this video. Once a day, Roblox will process rebate credits from your sales to reimburse you for the publishing advance. The publishing advance does not apply for free limited items, which require a per unit fee. The per unit fee is dynamic and is a set price you must pay for each unit or stock of an individual item you want to sell. As a hypothetical case where free limited hat items are 100 Robux per unit, if you want an item to have a stock of 200, you'll pay 20,000 Robux to publish the item. For free limiteds, Roblox will keep the entire per unit fee. Once you completed all these steps, your item is ready to be sold on the avatar marketplace. Clicking publish will subtract all of the corresponding fees I just mentioned from your account, if applicable, and put the item on sale. Now, let's talk about commissions, or how much money you'll make off each avatar item you upload. When community items are sold on Roblox, a portion of the sales is split between the original item creator and Roblox themselves. If your item is sold on the marketplace, the creator will receive 30% of the revenue, while the remaining 70% goes to Roblox. If your item is sold within an experience, the creator will receive 30%, while the owner of the experience that that item was sold in will receive 40% of the revenue. The remaining 30% again goes to Roblox. If a limited item is being resold on the marketplace, 50% of the revenue will go to the user reselling the item, 10% will go to the original creator of the item, 10% will go to the seller slash affiliate, and the remaining 30% goes to Roblox. Similar to other commission and payment breakdowns, a single party can receive one or more commissions for a single transaction, such as the case where the original creator is also the reseller of the item. And that's a wrap! With UGC being public, creation on Roblox is now easier than ever. What items are you wanting to upload? Have you seen any cool or unique items uploaded to the Avatar Marketplace yet? Let me know in the comments. And as always, any resources with additional information relating to the topics mentioned in this video will be linked in the description. If you enjoyed this video, please drop a like to show your support. If you'd like to stay up to date with the latest and the greatest Roblox news, subscribe and turn on all notifications to never miss out on new content. Before the video ends, I want to quickly shout out the current members of the YouTube channel. Kairul Arman, Seven Days of Lays, The Carl, and Jeremiah Cruz. If you'd like a shout out in the next video, as well as access to a bunch of awesome perks listed on screen, consider joining and becoming a member of the channel. Click the join button below the video to learn more. Anyways, thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.